following our previous tutorial on how to make open pinnies, today we are making closed pinnies. Notice that um, the open pinnies, uh, you could see the pistols and the stamens. It's not like so in the closed pinnies. The center is completely closed. We are going to learn how to make these beautiful closed pinnies. So let's get started. The first thing that we are going to do is to make the inner center of the flower or the bud. Take a piece of 18 gauge wire and make a hook. Then pass the wire with the hook through a one and a half inch styrofoam ball. When inserting the wire, be sure that the hook is all the way in. Once the hook is in, do not continue pulling out the wire. Take a hot glue gun and glue the wire to the bottom and top of the ball. And since I want the stem of the flower to be very strong, I'm attaching another piece of the wire to the previous wire using florist tape. I do this because this flower is very heavy, but if you are fine with just one wire, then it's okay. And now we are going to prepare our first eight petals. Using your rolling pin, roll out your gum paste to a thickness of about 1 16th of an inch. Cut eight petals with a small petal cutter. Use a plastic sleeve to save the petals that you are not using at the moment. Working with the three petals first, use a ball tool to smooth the edges of the petals on both sides. Then use the silicone veiner to form the veins on the petals. Then, with a small ball of the ball tool, very carefully, using a little pressure, pull towards you the tips of each petal to give it a small curl. Do this with all the three first petals. Rest the petals for a second or so on the foam petal former before attaching it to the ball. Brush the edge of each petal with edible glue. Place the first petal on the very top of the bowl. Place the second petal overlapping the first petal. Place the third petal overlapping the previous petal but under the first petal. Be sure that all the edges are glued to the bowl. With these next five petals, do the same thing you did with the previous three petals.
Place the first petal between two previous petals. Place the next four petals overlapping each other. Remember that the last petal should overlap the previous petal, but it should go under the first petal. The next step is to cut six medium sized petals with your petal cutter. Do the same thing we did before with previous petals. Only this time we will let these petals dry for 20 to 30 minutes. We want these petals somewhat dried but not completely rigid. Don't let them dry for more than 30 minutes. I'm using this silicone madeline mold as a flower former, but you can use any flower former that you have. After the petals have dried for 30 minutes, we are going to place them this in the same fashion as we did with the five previous petals. Turn the flower upside down and be sure that you glue all the sides of each petal to, to the bowl. Then let the flower dry upside down overnight. Now on to our wired petals. We are going to prepare 11 medium sized wired petals and 10 large wire petals. Use a stem cell board to make the, the stems of the petals. To wire the petals I use a piece of 24 gauge wire. The process is to wire, soften the edges, make the veins with a veining mold and curl the tip of each petal. It's the same process as we did with the previous petals, except that these petals are wired. To wire the petals, I use 24 gauge wire. Wet the wire in edible glue. Insert wire up the stem of the petal to almost halfway through, being careful not to perforate the petal. If necessary, pinch the gum paste to the wire. Soften edges as previously.
So here I have all my petals which have been drying overnight. Carefully I bend the wires back just a little bit. I'm using florist tape to tie the petals. Stretch the tape before you use it to activate the glue. I'm placing the petals in the same fashion as before, overlapping each other. They should be placed under the previous petals as I'm showing here. Once you have all the petals around the bud, start wrapping the wires with florist tape. And to wrap the wires with the florist tape, I start at the middle, almost at the middle of the stem. Then I go up, all the way up, wrapping the wires with the tape all the way up to the very beginning of the, the stem. Then after that, I go all the way down and I finish wrapping all the wires together. And at this point, I realized I only used 10 petals, but it's okay because my petals are wide enough. Um, I'm just making sure that all the petals are in the right place. And on to the second round. And for the last row of petals, these are the large petals, we are going to do the exact same thing as we did before. We are going to place the petals overlapping each other and so forth. I just want to mention that since these petals are so fragile, always make sure to make extra ones for your project. In this way, if there is any breakage, you can always count on what you had made extra. Also, if you need to fix any of the petals, always use your pliers. Well, we've come to the end of our tutorial and this is the finished product. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned something today. Please share and subscribe. And as always, please keep the peace with everyone as long as it is possible for you. I thank you so much for spending this time with me. And don't forget to check out the information window um, at the end of this video for all the materials that I've used during this tutorial. And don't forget to activate the bell so you could get a notification every time I upload a video. Um, thank you so much and God bless.